Hi, Ken already left for work? I must have slept in. I have to go wake the girls. They don't want to be late for school. Chelsea, it's time to get up for school. You don't want to be late. Actually, I do want to be late, because then I get to miss some of school. Well, you have to get up and go to school today, Chelsea. It's Friday. Oh, yeah, it is Friday. Okay, I'm getting up. Okay, Barbie, I actually got out of bed and I'm dressed. Thank you. I'll get your breakfast. Where's Skipper and Stacy? Here we are. Girls, Chelsea's dressed and you're not. We can see that. Yeah, Barbie, me and Skipper plan on getting dressed after we eat. Ugh, now I'm really mad. You guys are going to make... Okay, we'll go get dressed, but only because we don't want you mad. Thank you. Okay, now that you are all ready, I hope everyone has an amazing day at school. Are you going to be driving us today? Unfortunately, no. Skipper's going to be driving you today because I have to listen to the news and get the updates about COVID-19. What's that? It's an illness that's spreading around the country and other countries really fast, and it's really dangerous. Seriously, first the coronavirus, now this? I'm done with 2020. That's awful. Two disease- <laughs> Chelsea, they're the same thing. Oh! I didn't know that. Well, now you know. Yep, well, you all better get to school. You don't want to be late. Skipper, I'll keep you and Stacy updated. What about me? You don't have a phone for me to text and reach you. I need a phone- Not now. Besides, all the Apple stores are closed. What? Why? Because of the coronavirus. It's spreading and it's getting worse. There hasn't been any cases in our county yet, but people are trying to prevent them. Yes, the best way to prevent it is to wash your hands and don't touch your face or put anything that's not food in your mouth. Got it. See you after school, Barbie. Bye, Skipper. Thanks for the ride. Oh, hello, everyone. Bye, Skipper. Thanks for the ride. Do you know how dumb that sounded, Chelsea Roberts? It sounded dumb. Dumb, just like you. Don't have time for this today. Hi, Kitty. Hi. Good morning, Haley. Good morning, Milani. Good morning, Tamika. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Just be quiet. <laughs> Why isn't the teacher here? The bell rang. And plus, she's always here before the bell. Yeah, where is she? We better not have that grumpy, dumpy sub again, or I'm going to be very upset. Preach, Olivia. Same. Olivia, what does the S on your shoe stand for? <gasps> Kitty. What, Maddie? You just called out Olivia. I asked her a question because I was just curious. Yeah, why do you even want to know what the S stands for? For your information. Kitty, the S stands for Gucci. Bruh, Gucci starts with a G. For now on, S stands for Gucci. And anyone who violates my rule will be punished. Oh my gosh, we're all so scared. Maddie, grow up. I'm concerned about where the teacher is. Nobody cares about Olivia's shoes. Oh, so disrespectful. Me and Maddie are like the most respectful ones in the class. Did you guys hear about the coronavirus? It's starting to close some stores. It closed the Apple store, and some fast food places are only letting people go through the drive throughs and some schools are closing. Oh my goodness, what if our school closed and none of us knew about it when we came to school? I feel like if the school was gonna close, we'd hear about it, Elizabeth. That's true, I never thought about that. Duh. Typical dumb blondie. Maddie, you're blonde. Well, so are you. Um, anyways, my mom was telling me that there's no cases of coronavirus in our county and that she or no one else has heard rumors of our school closing down. Yet again, it still is a possibility, but I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. Why do you say unfortunately? I hope the school doesn't close down because then it will take away days from our summer vacation. What did you say, Elizabeth? Move! 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 Elizabeth, did you just say that if school closes, it's going to take into my summer? Like, I'll have to come here in the summer? Yes, Maddie. Oh, now I'm angry! I was going to go to Hawaii in the summer! 
if you were really listening to our conversation, you would have heard me say there's a very small chance of school closing. Oh, okay. Bruh, why are your desks on the floor? You guys are so lazy. Okay, class, I'm sorry I'm late. Okay, I get it that I'm a sub and that you guys are younger, but it's not funny to make your desks like that. It's very disrespectful. Yeah, it's very disrespectful. Bruh, mad. Where's our teacher? Your teacher is here on campus, but she's in an emergency staff meeting, so I'm going to be your teacher for today. But I am not going to start class if the desks are like this, so everybody fix their desk. Okay, thank you. My name is Miss Lou, and I'm going to be your substitute teacher of the day. Is our real teacher sick? Oh my gosh, Kitty, you're so slow. Miss Boo. Miss Lou. Miss Lou just said that our teacher is in an emergency staff meeting. Well, I was just asking if she was sick because she was out last time. Oh my gosh, Kitty, you're such an example of a dumb blondie. Aren't you blonde too? Oh! Did you just call me a dumb blondie, Miss Lou? No, I just stated a question. Aren't you blonde too? Miss Lou, you're bullying and harassing me. Bruh, Maddie, you bully and harass everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm reporting you too, Chelsea Roberts. My mom is going to call up the school district on you. And she's going to make sure that you never sub here again. And for the record, my hair is not blonde. It's golden. Well, actually, Maddie, I don't sub for this district. They had to call me in because it was for an emergency. So I want no funny business. This is actually very serious. Thank you for the silence. So right now we are going to play math, hide, and seek. Math, hide, and seek? What's math, hide, and seek? Ugh, Olivia, stop being a dumb blondie. Maddie's trying to call Olivia and Kitty a dumb blondie, but has she seen herself? <gasps> but Lonnie, I heard you. Oh my goodness, here we go again. Okay, first of all, I just wasted 10 seconds of my life walking over here because you weren't listening to me. Actually, I was listening to you. Okay, look, you're trying to bully me? Bruh! Why does everyone keep saying bruh today? Bruh! Oh, I just said bruh! Bruh! Bruh, bruh. okay, you know what? I'm going to stand here and tell you ready to learn. And if you're not ready to learn, that's on you. I'm going to lay here and rest my eyes. Wow, now Miss Boo wants to ruin my confrontation. <sighs> so rude. Anyways, please stop bullying me. Thank you! Huh. Well, my shift is done. Good play, class. It was a pleasure subbing for you. Not really. Is it an early release day? Um, guys, that's not the bell we normally get. That's the bell we get when there's an emergency and we need to get off campus. What? Run! I can't believe the emergency bell went off. That bell only goes off during drills. What's the emergency? I don't know, but the real question is, how are we gonna get home? Wait, there's Skipper and Stacy. Skipper brought her car today. Skipper, Stacy, what happened? Why'd the emergency bell go off? Calm down, guys. It's gonna be okay. It was just because we had to evacuate campus. Yeah, school's officially closed. Why? Because of the coronavirus. Everyone had to leave campus, and I guess it's closed until... When again, Stacy? It's closed until April 13th. That's like a month! It's gonna take away from summer! That's actually what I thought too, McKenna, but I'm not so sure if that's the case. Anyways, do you guys need a ride home? Yes, please. Your sister has a really cool Jeep, Chelsea. I know, right? Thank goodness she drove us to school today, or we would have been waiting hours for my other sister to get us. Yeah, both my parents are at work, so I would have been waiting too. Same here, McKenna. Thanks for getting us, Chelsea. Don't thank me. Thanks, Skipper. Barbie, we're home! Skipper, I don't think I saw Barbie's car. Oh dear, she must not be home. Here, I'll call her, Tamika and McKenna's mom, and tell them the news. Um, Skipper and Stacy, I think I speak for the three of us. Um, we're all very hungry. Okay, Stacy, while I call the parents, can you get them a snack? Yeah, I will. Thanks for lunch, Stacy. 
Yeah, it was really good, especially the salad. Okay, everyone, so I just got off the phone with everyone. Tamika and McKenna, your parents will be here in a few minutes to pick you up. Ken's going to be home in about 15 minutes, then Barbie will be home in a half hour. I thought Barbie doesn't have work today. She's getting toilet paper and paper towels and some supplies. Why? Because the president declared this a national emergency, so we might go on lockdown. What? Notice how I said might. It's a national emergency? Yes, ma'am. Keep washing your hands and don't touch your face. Bye, Tamika. Bye, McKenna. Text me. Well, Ken should be home soon. Salad is so good. What? Oh, yeah, he's going to be home soon. Girls, I'm home. Your school called me. It's officially closed until April 13th. So no school? And will it cut into summer? Yes and no. Yes, you still have to take school. There's going to be online courses. And no, it's not going to be cutting into your summer since you're taking online courses. Yes, I can sleep in! It's like an early spring break. You can go to the mall, the movies, shopping. Yep. Yep. But at the same time, it's very serious. Barbie's out getting food, toilet paper, and paper towels. What's the big thing on paper towels and toilet paper? Well, all paper towels and toilet paper are made in China, and no shipments from China are coming to the U.S. right now because of the virus. So basically, the toilet paper we have now... And paper towels. Yes, the toilet paper and paper towel we have now are the paper towel and toilet papers we're going to have for a while. Oh my, it is serious. I just hope it doesn't get any worse. I hope so too. Thank <laughs> you.